So maybe you're like me and originally you installed the Wacom tablet and it didn't work and now you just want a fresh start and follow along with the tutorial. So I'm going to start with how to uninstall it in case you already did install the driver and it went wrong. So you can click Launchpad, go to Wacom Tablet Utility, click the Unlock button, enter your password, and then click All Users and Uninstall. And now when you go back to Launchpad, you no longer see those three items. Okay, for the next step, we're gonna reinstall the installer. So we can go to wakeom.com slash start. And then if you're using the tablet one, you would use slash support. So you can ignore this, scroll down. And so step one, this one doesn't really matter, but step two, we can download and install the driver. So click Mac and give this a second to download. Okay, now that it's fully downloaded, you can click this little button, click show in Finder. And from there, you can double click this. then double click the install Wacom tablet and you're going to be shown the license you can agree and just click install so once it's fully installed it's going to ask you to restart and from there we'll pick up okay so you can click restart Okay, now that everything's been installed, you can go to the launch pad and you'll see the tablet utility, the desktop center, and uh, some sort of settings type thing. And so we can click the desktop center. And now you can plug in your Wacom tablet. And we have access to it. We're gonna want access to your data and documents, so you can click OK and you have security settings prevented the Wacom Desktop Center from opening the system preference. So you can also click OK. And from here, if you get that error, you can click System Preferences and go back from here. So you see that we don't have access to it. We say the tablet was not found on the system. So from here, we can go to Security and Privacy. And we're gonna scroll down to input monitoring and you can click to unlock. Type in your password. And so you need to give access to the Wacom tablet driver to have input monitoring. And I'll say later for now, cause we have one more thing to give access to. So we can go up to accessibility and we're also gonna give this one access. And now we can lock. And so you're going to have to restart your computer one more time. So from here, you can just click restart and we'll pick up from there. Now that we've restarted our computer for the final time, we can go to Launchpad, open the desktop center again, and then re-plug in your tablet one. And now you have access to it. And if you go to system Pre preferences, we see it down here. And we no longer have pen, uh, we no longer have that error we were getting earlier. Now we can edit the pen settings. And so we can click out of this and let's check that it works. So we can go to Launchpad. And this is just a whiteboard app that I use. And when I full screen it and I go to my tablet now, if I go to the far right corner, far right upper corner of my tablet and I draw a circle, it's the far right upper corner of my screen. Same thing for the bottom. And I'm just going to all the corners of my tablet. And 
and then I'll draw a straight line right across my tablet. And we see that it works. Okay, thanks everybody.